What's up brothers? This is Corey from Lion Dads. I got another quick little video for you guys. Um, today I want to talk about back on the carnivore diet stuff a little bit. I, I want to talk about some of the negative pushback that you'll receive when you go on to a way of eating like this. Specifically from people like your family. And I don't mean family like your wife, your kids, people are living directly in your household. Because oftentimes you'll find that some of them, they'll, they'll either get on it with you to support you, they'll be a little more supportive sometimes, uh, or they'll see the results and eventually want to jump on with you. Uh, the, the people I'm talking about is like your extended family, your parents, uh, siblings, grandparents, people like that. Uh, maybe even some friends, like close friends that don't live with you, but people outside your really, really close circle uh, that are gonna see the way you eat and they're gonna revert back to their so societal programming mindset and give you some negative pushback, judge you, whatever. So the first point I'm gonna make in this is one, you shouldn't care. That's the end all be all get to a place where I don't give a crap what they think. I'm doing this for me. I've made a decision. I know that for me this helps, this works. This is something that I want to do and I'm going to do it. You know, you don't live with mommy and daddy anymore, your siblings or whoever. They got their own life to live. And if they don't like the way that you're doing things, you know what? That's fine that's on them they can keep eating their standard american diet they can go vegan or they can do whatever they want um and it doesn't matter what ultimately should matter for you is that you're doing the best thing for you you're optimizing your health you're taking back your fitness you're taking back your life and you're upping your game and doing what you feel is best for you if you've come to this way of eating with that mindset. So a little background, I have dealt with this kind of pushback uh, quite a bit from my family, especially my parents. Um, you know, as, as I don't know if I've really talked about it, the people inside my house, for the most part, support me in my diet. I got one kid who I think kind of recognizes he sees the value in it, but uh, doesn't think it's a sustainable diet. He'll jump on it once in a while, lose some weight, miss the the food, miss the pizzas, miss the junk, and he'll eat it. My other son, he used to be kind of the same way. He'd get on it for a while, see the benefits of it, miss the food, but he's on it. He's an athlete, a high school athlete, football, basketball, track and field. Um, and he's seen the benefits of it from an athletic standpoint and, you know, realizes that he's reaping the rewards. Uh, same thing with my wife, you know, she's on it off and on here and there, um, does more of a modified version of it. And that's fine. You know, everybody can do this the way they want. You know, I'm a little more strict than anybody else and I see results. You know, the two of us in the house that are the strictest on it, we see the results the fastest. That doesn't mean that you're not gonna see any results if you do a more modified version of it, but that's, you know, that's a decision. But I'm getting off topic here. Um, especially having children on this diet, you know, it raises, you know, a lot of red flags with like my parents, for example, my dad specifically. They still fall into the you know, fat is bad for you, you know, programming that came out in the, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s, that you need to eat a low fat diet. Low fat's leading to heart disease, meat leads to heart disease, eggs lead to heart disease. Um, we've all heard it a billion times, you know, when they started pushing sugar on us, started pushing breakfast cereals. I remember waking up when I was a kid and eating breakfast cereals and things of that nature. And I gave them to my kids when they were little. One of my biggest regrets, you know, I'll do another video on that sometime, some of my biggest regrets. But, uh, you know, my parents, they come and they see me 
eat the way I do, especially my dad. My dad has had a heart attack, you know. He's a bigger guy like me. Um, lifetime of poor dietary choices, things like that, high stress jobs, every all that stuff caught up with him and he had a heart attack and you know of course doctors are still they're just they're just basically glorified drug dealers in my opinion telling you to cut back on the meat, don't eat fatty meat, don't eat eggs, don't eat this, don't eat that, cut off the dairy, do this, do that and the other and basically pushing salads and high dressing you know a lot of dressings and salads and crap on them because all that crap's heart healthy right supposedly high fiber diet my dad is on this high fiber type deal and they're just horrified by the way i eat they listen to the propaganda they listen to the oh uh, you know meat's bad fat's bad vegetables good fruit blah 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 rinse and repeat that everybody else seems to be on meanwhile you know I was eating a high fiber diet I was eating a you know high fruit high vegetable diet and I was 285 pounds switched to an all meat diet went all the way down to 220 pounds or so a little less than that uh, have gone on a bulk have gotten myself back up to 240 pounds with, you know, that's some body fat added to that, but a lot of muscle too. Um, I'm now going to start cutting down, but it's, it's working for me, you know, and they just can't, they can't see that. They have a hard time admitting or recognizing that this works. And, you know, I came to the realization, you know, for a long time, I kind of tap danced around even talking about it or acknowledging it. I would lie. I would say like, oh, I'm just on a high protein, low carb, low sugar diet. No sugar, right? I, that's, that was always my thing. I'm not, I'm not eating sugar. And I'm on this high protein diet and things like that. I wouldn't go so far as to say I'm like carnivore. I would just find ways to talk around it. But now I'm at a point, I don't care. I really don't. I'm doing this for me. It's worked for me. I've been doing it for years now. And I find that it's, my body responds to this well. If somebody else comes to me and say, hey, I tried a carnivore diet, my body didn't respond, okay, fine, do what you need to do. You know, it doesn't affect me at all. And their diets don't affect me at all. You know, I, it used to really bother me being told by somebody who's in worse shape than me that my diet sucks and it's gonna kill me. You know, while I'm sitting here in the, probably the best shape of my life, listening to people who look like they're in the worst shape of their life especially when I love and respect and care about the person so much telling me my diet's killing me and I'm sitting there and it used to bother me I'd be like I don't want to hear this crap I can't believe they're saying this to me I'd let it get to me and I've gotten to the point where you know what man I have you have to do you and they're going to do them and live and let live and some people don't, you know, some people look at the carnivore diet and say, oh, it's unethical. There's that too. I don't have any of that. I haven't had any much of that pushback yet. I know there's people in that camp out there and, you know, they feel the way they feel and that's fine too. Um, but I'm not going to let it, anybody's negative attitudes toward my diet slow me down. Uh, that's the bottom line. I'm in this for my own personal health, my own personal fitness. Uh, to help me optimize my body to get me energetic and motivated to keep climbing and keep achieving the goals that I have uh, that I want to accomplish in my own life. I have high aspirations and I have high goals and I feel that having my diet dialed in and having optimal health, nu uh, nutrition, uh, fitness, physical fitness, that's all going to help me achieve those goals you know are they the deciding factor in me achieving all my ultimate goals absolutely not you know that all comes from the work you put in it comes from your mindset but if I can feel good if I can have my health dialed in my fitness dialed in and it's one less thing that I have to worry about it's all just good habits at this point it frees up my time and it frees up my energy to focus on the goals that I want to achieve that other people in my life are not shooting for their optimal goals and 
reaching their optimal potential. And that's something that I'm striving to do. I'm try striving to set that example for my kids and for the people around me. And if they want to get on board, that's fine. If they don't, that's also fine. I'm not going to love you any less. I'm not going to care any less. And that's just the way it is. So when it comes to dealing with that kind of stuff, that's my only message to you guys. If you got family pushing back on you, I know there's some cultures in the world where even as an adult, your parents are kind of an authority in your life. Uh, here, you know, Western culture, America, stuff like that, we don't have some of that kind of stuff to deal with. But a lot of you guys, you know, you're, you're don't want to disappoint mom and dad and you don't want to let them down and you know, they, they want to be involved in your life and help you make decisions and stuff like that. And at some point, you guys, you got to you gotta cut the damn cord and you got to do what's best for you. If it pisses them off, it pisses them off. You're, you're going to have kids. You, you all, if you're listening to me, you should have kids because it's a line of dads. And your kids are going to piss you off, man. Mine have already done. I got a 19-year-old and a 17-year-old. And, man, I've gone to the brink with those two. What stuff they've choices they've made and you're gonna do it to your parents up until the day they die and you have to make the best decisions for you down what anybody else thinks and get your life in order get your health back take your fitness back dial in your body and live optimally and that way you can set all that stuff aside you don't have to worry about it that part of your life's taken care of now you're it's a habit at this point and you can shoot and achieve your goals so that's all i got for you guys today you know the drill hit like hit subscribe hit that notification bell leave me a comment below i got links to my social medias down in the description send me a message on twitter facebook give me a follow whatever you want i got a lot more content coming um, bouncing between dietary stuff carnivore diet stuff regular dad life stuff I'd like to do some of that stuff even more because I feel like we are all out here to help each other out man so I'll hit you guys up in the next video peace out